Hey everybody, and welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. I'm trying a uh, new experimental video today. I just want to give my thoughts on the buy a box promos and my opinion on how wizards could easily, easily fix this problem. So, if you're not familiar with the buy a box promos, starting in Dominaria, they started printing new unique cards that you could only get if you pre-ordered a box of Dominaria. So in Dominaria, the exclusive card was called Firesawn and Sunspeaker. It was a legendary creature Minotaur Cleric. It costs four of anything, and a red and a white. It says, red instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink. And whenever a white instant or sorcery spell causes you to gain life, Fire Song and Sunspeaker deals 3 damage to target creature or player. It is a 4-6 creature. So, this card doesn't see a ton of play. Maybe in Commander, somebody wants to build a Commander deck around it. The problem with Buy Box promos came in the next set, which was M19. And that card was Nexus of Fate, which was 5 and 2 blue for an instant. It says, take an extra turn after this one. If Nexus of Fate would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, reveal Nexus of Fate and shuffle it into its owner's library instead. So now this card ended up being more powerful than they thought it was going to be. It ended up being a big chase card, and now it's fairly expensive. Let's see here. Yeah, so checking TCG player, the Nexus of Fate is running about $20, where Fire Song and Sunspeaker can be had for 3 So, obviously there's a huge disparity on whether or not people want these cards, and the real problem comes in these cards are never going to be printed again. You can only get the Nexus of Fate if you had pre-ordered a box of M19 from your local store. So if you didn't do that, you're stuck paying the 20 bucks to get one. And now they're continuing in the next set, Guilds of Ravnica. And that is Impervious Great Worm, which costs 3 green and 7 of anything. It has Convoke and Indestructible, and it is a 16-16 creature. So, I can't see this being playable in, you know, a ton of mainstream decks. Maybe some fringe decks will try it out, but it's certainly not going to be a standard or even a modern staple. And that seems to be the problem with these buy box exclusive cards, in that they're either super good and then the price spikes and people get mad because they have to pay 20 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever to get them, or they're fringe playable at the best or unplayable at the worst. So, what is the thinking behind making? exclusive cards that's my question so my, my solution to this problem would be to do exclusive art on a card and, and this has been suggested before but I thought about it a little bit and there was also a problem with the buy box promos where local game stores said they were running out so even if you pre-ordered a box you didn't get your card so to remedy to that, what I would do is, when you are making a new set, pick out a card from the set. Something iconic, not necessarily the most powerful. For example, in Guilds of Ravnica, I just picked out Raul. Is it Viceroy? He's the new red-blue planeswalker. He's red-blue, three of anything, comes into play with five loyalty. You plus one, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. 
minus 3, Raoul is it Viceroy, deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. Minus 8, you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, this emblem deals 4 damage to any target and you draw 2 cards. So, it's a pretty powerful card, but it doesn't seem to be the most powerful in the set. I would give that probably at the moment to Assassin's Trophy, but that's another discussion. So, what if you bought a box, pre-ordered a box, and you got this? Now this is their special masterpiece version of Rao. Is it Viceroy? Does all the same stuff, he just, the art looks cooler. I think that would be the way to do a buy a box promo. Instead of a unique card that is either going to be crap or it's going to be a chase card and piss everybody off because it's going to be super expensive, make this make the masterpiece the buy a box exclusive. So if you go into your local game store, you pre-order a box, you're going to get the masterpiece Raul is it Viceroy. Anybody who didn't pre-order a box, they can still get this card. They can still play with him. They just won't have the special, really cool looking one. And this one will probably become a collector's item and will sell for a lot of money. But the key here is if you're building a deck that requires him, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get the special one. You would only buy the special one if you wanted the special art. You could just as easily buy the regular one that still comes in packs. Now, the second part of this would be when you pre-order a box, have your local game store attach your DCI number to the pre-order. And yes, you would have to have a DCI number in order to get the buy a box promo. This would ensure Wizards knows exactly how many people have pre-ordered a box in each store. And just for simple numbers, let's say your local store, 10 people pre-ordered boxes, and they all had DCI numbers. Wizards knows to send 10 to that store, so nobody is out of their card. It just seems like the easiest way to re rectify this, you won't piss off the people who are looking for these cards. You'll add a collector's edition version of the card out there that will increase in value generally. And you're just creating an overall better customer experience, especially for people who like to pre-order. And you might get more people than pre-ordering. So that's just my two cents on the buy a box promo and how they could fix it. And I think fairly easily rather than selling these masterpieces on their website only. My suggestion would help out local game stores and would do away with these exclusivity cards that never get printed again. So I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you liked this one or not, and maybe we'll do more of them in the future. Um, but otherwise, see you guys next time. Those are some killer bees.